All right, so we are creating products. We're organizing them into tags and categories. Let's look at another feature that we have built into our system. Let's go look at coupons. We'll get to variations soon, but let's look at coupons. These are a little easier to deal with than variations. Coupons. We have no coupons at the moment. So at the top, let's select Add Coupon. Coupon code, discount. We've got a bunch of little boxes to fill in, and it's not so complicated. So coupon code. The code entered to receive the discount. So this is something like uh, you know, cake zero zero x, mm -hmm. like whatever kind of code you want to make up for people to use. And you've seen these when you go to some online store and it says enter promotional code, enter coupon code. It's some some uh, esoteric uh, word that you can use to get your discount. So just for fun, I'm going to do cake00x discount, the discount amount, which is then discount type. Is it a fixed amount, a percentage, or is it free shipping? So if I put in 5 fixed amount, that's $5 off. If I put in percentage, well, it's 5% off. Free shipping, it doesn't quite apply any more then. Let's say it'll be percentage. 11% off. Start and end date. If you leave this empty, there's no expiration. But let's say you're running a month-long campaign. This coupon only works for the month of May. So you would put in here the start and end dates, and this will take care of itself to no longer accept the coupons at the end of the month. You can have coupons that you have created, but that you don't have active. Again, this is going to deactivate itself at a certain time. The coupon will still exist, which then you can reuse later. And the default here is, as soon as you create it, activate the coupon. Well, if you're putting this in the future, and you have activate coupon on creation, then the coupon will exist before the time it's supposed to, so that could be a problem. Most of the time you'll want to activate this because you want to use the coupon right away. At the moment, this coupon uh, is multiple use. Now I have to look up, is it multiple use per person or in total? So I'm not exactly sure. We're going to leave the default alone for the moment. But if you activate this when the coupon is used, it will deactivate. And again, I have to look it up if it's per person or if it's completely in total this one coupon as soon as it's used. So we'll leave it alone. <coughs> At the moment, the coupon is applied to everything in total. Or would you like the coupon to be applied to each individual item? So we'll leave it as is, just apply it in total. And you can fine tune this. Item name, quantity, total, subtotal. If you don't change this, then it'll simply apply as is. Someone uses the code, they get 11% off. But it could be that you need to spend at least $25 for this to work. The subtotal amount of their cart is greater than $25. I can have multiple here, although that gets too complex, I think. I would just do one 
condition at a time. You can do item name, in category, choose your category pi, and the, then this coupon will only apply to pi category items. I won't do anything on any of these. Uh, yes, whatever I named my category. So, yes, pies, plural. So, I'll add the coupon. That takes me back to my coupons screen and it gives me my code, what's the discount, start and expiration dates. It's currently active. I can go back to edit it. I can deactivate it or delete it. This is pretty straightforward. You create these codes and then it's up to you to to share them, to put them on your newsletter, to put them in your blog, to tweet about them, whatever method to, to put it on your billboard. And so then when the person goes through the checkout process, um, there'll be a box for a for the coupon code and then they can add it. Yeah, because it's just this. Yeah, so you just copy and paste. Select that and copy and paste it, and and you're and you're sharing it. So it's pretty straightforward here. Um, if you do use coupons, remember uh, you have to think about should they have an expiration date or not, because people could be using this a year from now if you didn't expire them and that may not be what you want. So any questions on coupons?